Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to read a story today called The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. We're going to look at some aphids, which are up here on our milkweed plant. And we're going to have some ladybugs here that we can put out so that they can eat the aphids, just like in the story. Okay? What are you? First, let's sing our song, okay? Ready? Yeah. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, all sitting on the ground. There's Nolan and Elliot and Hudson and Samsara and Ryder and Connor and Charlie and Samuel and here we are together all sitting on the ground outside in our backyard. Okay, the very grouchy ladybug by Eric Carl. You are right. Okay, I'll try to scoot around like this. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. Then it's showing the moon and the fireflies. And then it says, at five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left and saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too wanted some aphids and wanted them for a breakfast. Now, I want everybody to look up here. You can get off of your chairs if you want. Come over here and look at this branch. It has aphids all over it. Can you see all those aphids? I see all those Bless aphids. you. Yeah. Show me with a finger where the aphids are. Yeah. yeah, you see aphids on that? And they're going to ruin our plant. Oh. Okay. And but the ladybugs are eating that? And there's a lot of aphids here. And there's yeah. two ladybugs That's in this picture. Oh. And here's the this ladybug. This one has a smiley face. face. And this one has a cranky face. Do you think there's enough yeah. ladybugs for everybody? What no. there? I mean, enough aphids? Do you think there's enough aphids? Yeah. That everybody will have an aphid? Yeah. Or lots of aphids? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. If you look at our plants, there's lots and lots of aphids. And they ruin our plants. So this grouchy ladybug is being selfish. So then it talks about how she's selfish and she doesn't want any of these other animals or, oh, there's a praying mantis. We have a praying mantis case inside, and we're going to put it out here, and pretty soon we're going to have a praying mantis. And there's a bird. Birds eat aphids. Maybe they eat ladybugs, too. No. Why no? You don't think so? Why, why not? There's a crab. So. Crabs don't eat aphids, do they? No. No, they don't. And there's a skunk. You think skunks eat aphids? Yeah. No. no they don't. Pink. There's a snake. Do you think snakes eat aphids? Yeah. No, they don't. No. There is a hyena. Hyenas don't eat aphids. Yeah. No. And there's a gorilla. The animals are getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. They don't eat aphids. And there's a rhinoceros. They don't eat aphids either. And this, this grouchy yeah. ladybug is telling the all of these animals they can't have any aphids. I'm and then she gets to a whale. Now I'm the shark. Right? And then she goes all the way over here. She doesn't even know that the whale is so big she's talking to the front half, the middle, and the now back I'm, half. I'm the whale. But the whale slaps his tail and sends that little teeny ladybug all the way back to the leaf where she started out and now she's a little bit humble and the friendly ladybug is going to share the other aphids with her because there's plenty left and it's already almost bedtime and this is the end it says soon all the aphids were gone thank you said the leaf 
you're welcome, said, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. You didn't the fireflies really? who no. had been sleeping all day came out but and danced around the moon. Yeah. So, I'm going to let you guys come over here. Okay. And we're going to, I'm going to put my book under the chair, okay. and I'm going to give you some aphids in your hand. Let me stand up. Thursday and our color of the day is purple. I, I have, have purple know. on. You see I have purple. I have purple. And I this know. is kind of purpley pink. Purple. Okay. And I if you look know. at my socks, they're purple and pink. Do you have purple? Have purple. Yeah. You're yeah. sitting on a purple cushion, right? Okay. I have purple. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your purple? Do you have purple, Elliot? Where's your purple? You have blue. Oh, blue. I don't have blue it. and red make oh. purple. Do you have purple on? Where's your purple? Purple. 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 You have some purple there? Ryder, do you have purple on? Yeah. Right there? Uh -huh. Let's see. Oh, you look like somebody painted your shoe with purple paint. You're correct. <laughs> How about you? Connor, do you have purple on? Mm -hmm. Where's your purple? Those are blue shoes. Oh, some sort of sound found your purple. Right here. Right there. Charlie, do you have purple on? There, it's kind of magenta. How about up here? Look at your neck. Is that purple? Is that shirt under there purple? Yeah. Sammy, do you have purple on? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Well, you have a red shirt and blue shoes. Does blue and red make purple? Yep. yep. Okay. Friends at home, see if you have purple on. And if you come to school on Thursday, make sure you wear purple. Please subscribe to our Baby McBean YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up and pass this on to your friends and family. Thank you and have a wonderful day.